What's the crack, lads? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. Hope you had a good weekend. We're back with some Monday drops. We've got the English League midfielders, Lampard, Lundberg and Kagawa. But all eyes are on the FC Bayern Munich big time pack. Now, there's a week in each of these. We will do the Bayern or the English League midfielders pack after this one. We'll also be live streaming quite early today. So make sure you check that out. We're going to be doing a couple of spins. The Bayern Munich pack lads, there's a couple of interesting things about these, right? So just the basics first. And I'll keep this video as short and sweet, but as thorough as possible. We've got Upper Meccano, we've got Harry Kane, Gnabry, Moteng, Tell, Limer, and the Licht as your standard Bayern cards. And of course, you had Goretzka finishing off those uh, those ones as well with the 12. Goretzka is available for free in the eFootball Point shop. We also have Manuel Neuer there as well. But the big time cards that we're going to be really looking at, lads, are Kimmich, Davies, and Musiala. Now, if you remember the last time they released a club pack with this, these are actually tied, okay, to the event that is ongoing with the game at the moment. So very simply, just to kind of get this out, if you're not used to kind of going in and checking the different events on a Monday, there is the brand new Bayern Munich pack, uh, or the brand new um, Dream Team event here, the Bayern Munich Dream Team event which you can see here, and you literally just need to play this one. Um, you can set whatever you want to set against the AI. It's just a round one. You get your rewards with that. So you actually get, with the chance deal here, you get five Bayern Munich standard cards as the reward there, and then the main reward is going to be after a 1,000 points of 5,000 eFootball points. So you can sign Goretzka from the, free shop, from the shop or whatever for free. It doesn't really make a difference who you sign, or you can hold those points, okay? But onto the tree big time, right? Because we actually have a lot to discuss with these cards. I will be trying to spin from, I think, because we have coins left over, as you can see up there, 1,600 coins um, from last stream and stuff. So Kimmich, Davies, and Musiala, right? We're not going to focus too much on the small-time base players here. I don't mean small-time base players, but we've got free Delict, we've got free Limer. There's some good players in here, right? If you guys want me to focus on one of these i will cover all of these the training guides recommended skills to give them what positions to play them in whether they're worth it or not i'll actually do that in the live stream right but we've a lot to talk about with the three big time cards here uh, which i think are very interesting and it kind of shows you where they're kind of going with the with the balancing a little bit more because i think these cards are going to be very important not just from the in-game but also from a partner point of view of what the partner clubs would probably be looking out with their cards okay um so first up we have davies right davies is a fantastic player attacking full back defensively he's not that good let's be honest okay he gets the agility plus two booster for speed acceleration balance and stamina so you know what you're all, you're already going to be trying to do with davies is maxing out his roberto carlos-esque speed and acceleration while having that balance fairly beefy as well we'll get into that in the e in the e football db in a sec right but he also is able to play a little bit now as I said, they are trying to balance things. So look at the difference between his tight possession and his aggression and tackling compared to some older left backs. Now, I know he's down as an attacking fullback or an offensive fullback, but his balance is actually quite high to run with the ball. But his tight possession to actually, you know, have the ball in tight positions up the pitch, that is a real key, um, you know, skill or stat now for certain players, right? For certain players that are able to have tight possession where they're able to collect the ball deep, such as Salah, such as Messi, and be able to run. And it doesn't matter, you know, their performance of running is, is kind of not limited by their position. Davies is more of a kind of like, you know, just pure pace, kind of like Roberto Carlos. Now, he does have a really good dribbling skill, a um, couple of skills here, uh, where you've got your double touch. And of course, obviously, you can give him whatever you want to give him. I would potentially, uh, you know, give any player that doesn't have it a one touch pass. Even if you play possession, one touch pass can get you out of a couple of sticky situations. Uh, with you know possession football or even if you just need to be able to kind of have an outlet pass right but this is the build that we've gone for with these stats and with these skills one touch pass knocked onto him would be quite decent i would say also low lofted pass is nice but he is a kind of a passing marauding left back kind of masquerading as a defensive player but is really a wing back i mean you don't really want to be dependent on this guy now that's not to say that he won't be able to perform in game i mean when you saw that card son crassen He's able to actually, you know, win ball and win duels. Uh, and he was a free player that's like, you know, uh, a really kind of like weak player on the game by his stats. So don't read into the stats too much. I think Davies is going to be a monster. I definitely would like to get him if I didn't have Carlos, okay? But this is the build that we've actually gone for here, okay? So this build here 
is for Davies at a 95 level left back. Now, you might be saying, oh, 95, it's too low. This is obviously without the booster. And this obviously is on eFootballDB, which doesn't have the manager or the booster, booster, boost in. That's a mouthful. But yeah, so you will be getting plus four to the stats that have boosters. So speed and acceleration with the manager boost and with his actual in-game booster. Now, to the agility, he's actually going to have speed and acceleration at 99 each. Balance is going to be at 91 and his stamina is going to be at 92, okay? So that's more than enough. You're also going to be getting the manager boost by itself on every other stat. So aggression is going to go from 73 to 75. Same with tight possession. The tight possession is a big issue with a lot of cards at the moment. If you do not play possession, you don't hold on to the ball that, that often, it's not so much a big deal. Um, but if you do like to play a bit of football in terms of holding the ball, waiting for your opponent to kind of tie him in, like, you know, entice him in and then kind of like left stick dribble past him or a little tight possession past him, it can be difficult to get used to players that take longer strides with their animation. So it's just something to keep an eye on, even though you can manually dribble. But it's a very, very good card. You've got a lot of opportunity there to, to boost him up however you see fit. Now, listen, if you're not going to be running the ball too much with him, I mean, 88 here is going to be more than enough. Uh, in fact, 95 will even be more than enough because you're going to get the boost at 91, which means you only need to pop six in. But the, the problem with this card is that even if you pop three more into dribbling, you're not going to get the dribbling to 80 unless you really, really take liberties with this card. And you're also not going to get anything above uh, 80 with the aggression stat unless you go past 13 points into defending, which kind of wrecks this card, I think, from an offensive point of view, which is where you want him to be, okay? Um, so yeah, Davies is kind of like, I think, a really good card if you like to use those type of cards, but he's not going to be for everybody, right? Now, Musiala is probably the pick of them, lads. We'll focus on him next. I think Musiala is a fantastic option for people if they have missed out on any attacking midfielder that was just godly, right? Ball carrying plus two, that's going to be speed, balance dribbling and a tight possession. That brings his speed actually up to 78 straight away. So you don't need to do much with this card if you want to keep him you know, I suppose as best as you possibly can, right? He's also got double touch, soul control. You can give him flip flap to get the ball roll. He does have a cut behind and turn, super sub, true passing. But again, he doesn't have one touch pass, which is a must. So I would say flip flap and one touch pass and then cater him around your play style, okay? That is kind of where I would go with that. He's a really good hole player, ball carrying plus two. His dribbling, his tight possession is unbelievable. Now, this is the build that we've actually gone for here, okay? I'm still kind of slightly torn. I'm going to have to play with him a little bit, but I do feel like that this is probably the best bang for your buck type card for the most players, okay? Now, obviously, you'll be able to have different, you know, tweaks and nuanced kind of like stat upgrades or, de you know, degrades. Uh, upgrades and degrades? No, it's not upgrades. Downgrades, downgrades. Sorry, lads, it's too early. Ball control is going to be at 88. He, that's going to get the manager boost to go bring it to 90. Dribbling and tight possession are going to be well into the 90s. His low pass at this level in here is going to be 85. His finishing is going to be 85. Perfectly balanced with offensive awareness, which was going to be 85. We then move on to his strength, which is going to be acceleration. That's going to be very, very nice as well. His speed is going to be very, very nice as well. Of course, if you have 10 hag, his speed is going to be 90, Okay. If you don't want to hit the, the, the 90 mark with the speed, I know some people are a little bit funny sometimes with speed and they like it even a bit more. But to be honest with you, lads, 85 is more than enough, which you can get very easily with this card by just having three in. And that would open up actually another ability for you to have like, I don't know. I mean, if you wanted to go with 88 uh, finishing, if you wanted to go with that, if you're into kind of, you know, thinking that there's tiny little... I honestly don't ever worry, unless I can hit 90 in the stat, I don't worry where it, the stat falls between 85 and 89, I don't worry if it's 85, brilliant, if it's 89, brilliant, if it's 90, even better, but if you can't get to 90, don't worry too much about it, right, so that is kind of where I'd go at Musiala, and then of course we are on to Kimmich, now Kimmich, they gave him 37 levels, I will be honest with you lads, Kimmich was one of the best players I ever used way back in eFootball 22, but he's kind of lost a little bit of his bluster, but with this card, one touch pass, true pass and way to pass, interception, slide and tackle and fighting spirit with pinpoint cross and soul control, I mean he is definitely comparable to Pirlo, he's not obviously as big and tall and physical as Pirlo, but his stats make up for that and his player ID is ridiculous, especially that he can play right back, DMF, CMF, AMF, this is a card, right, that a lot of pro guys will use because he's so good at dribbling while also being an extremely unique 
a defender. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by that, and I'm not going to spend too much time because you'll see for yourself anyway, right? So with those player skills that we just mentioned, look at what he's going to be reaching here, right? We already know that his max booster is going to give a boost to his physical contact, ball control, and finishing, which is a little bit disappointing. I think that's the only problem with this card. That's the only thing they've done to balance this card because his tight possession, his balance, his aggression, his acceleration is ridiculously good for a card this uh, highly rated. And you've got a lot of levels with him as well at 37, okay? So this is one build that we've gone for here. The ball control and tight possession are going to be at the 90 mark. You also have that dribbling that's going to be at the 80 mark with the manager boost. Low pass, 90. Lofted pass, 91. Now this is where it gets interesting, right? Speed and acceleration, even just using a default manager, right? Like a good 85 plus rated default manager, such as Simeone or GP only manager, your balance, stamina, speed, and acceleration are going to be ridiculously good for a card that still gets 90 plus aggression, 90 plus defensive engagement, 85 tackling, and 82 defensive awareness. It's a ridiculously good card if you are using him as a defender. Now, we've had to put a lot into his lower body here, 15 into that. If you're one of these guys, right, that you want to use Kimmich, and I would say this kind of like loosely, right, but if you want to use Kimmich, as somebody that is more kind of like slow based, he's not winning the ball back for you like Kante, and you do play a bit of possession, I would say reduce that lower body strength. Same build, but you're reducing that lower body strength from 15 to 10, okay? Now, the reason that we're going to do that is because you can create a very unique kind of player based on this. We've already spotted that his ball control is going to be a 90. You're also going to have that tight possession at 90. But what we want to do with this card is make him a little bit more offensive. And the only way to do that is to turn up his dexterity a good bit. Now, the reason for this is to turn up his dexterity to at least 88. That is going to give you our 10 into dexterity with 88 acceleration. That's going to give you 90 acceleration. And it's also going to push your balance way past the 90 zone. Now, usually these stats are reserved for a player such as Salah or such as Neymar or such as Messi that'll have the tight possession, balance, acceleration, and of course one stat such as passing or something like that in the 90s, right? Usually that's reserved for these, but you're pairing that on top of this card with also being able to give him a lot of really nice, you know, stats that usually are reserved for those type of players, including being able to give his defensive capabilities a much needed boost. Aggression, defensive engagement. I think this is going to be kind of like the hidden build for Kimmich. Honestly, I do think that he's going to be a monster card. I think it'll be similar to using Araujo instead of a right back as a CB. If you have the squad that's able to complement Kimmich in it, and you put a couple of bits and pieces into his card, I think this is the pick of the pack, lads. It's an insane card if you are used to playing with orchestrators. It won't be for everybody. These cards, Musiala is going to be the easiest pick up and play. He can slot into any team, any formation, you can try him out. I think Kimmich and Davies are going to suit people that actually play to their strengths and their systems. And this is what I think Konami are trying to do a little bit more. We'll get into it in the live stream later. But yeah, I don't want to make this video any longer, lads. There's a lot to discuss in here. Let me know what you think about these cards. Are you going to spin? Are you going to skip? Let me know what you think about the guides as well. And we'll get into it in the live stream. We will open a few. We'll have our last giveaway today as well. I will see you guys in about an hour or so, or maybe, maybe an hour and a half. And uh, we will crack on with that. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the live stream, lads.